FM, the Society for Polish American Understanding presents Polybus, a smart look at the many-sided world of what it means to be both Polish and American, and still Polish too. Now here's your guide through Polybus, Alastair Kukowski. Good morning, and welcome to the Polybus Show. With me this afternoon are many human Poles who will help show you the positive side of polarization, the act of being polished. But first, <coughs> this brief polospective. <laughs> was the last time you was in New Jersey, New York? If the answer is, yes, I have, then maybe you've enjoyed a beautiful place called Palisades Park. But did you know that this jewel of the Lower Hudson was first called Palisades Park? Yes, that's right, are you sitting down? With me today is With me today is Dr. Edward Omazeroski, a Polish person who now calls Ireland his home where he does things. Dr. Omazeroski. Welcome. Thank you. Being from Ireland like you are and being Polish to boot too. Yes. I guess that a guy could say about you that you are the only fella what could get away with wearing his shamrock on top of his undershirt. <laughs> you know, like, 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 like a joke. Yes. Uh, uh, Dr. Omazeroski, I should add, is a regular Bennett Surf type scholar. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. It's true. A scholar of Polish folk humors. The true Polish folk humor comes directly from the, the hearts, you see, from, from the, uh, all oh, the, uh, the tits? C could you perhaps share with our audience the best of such tales? We certainly mean one of the best. Oh, the best. The very best? Well, uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'll give you my own particular favorite then. Uh, this goes back some years. I hope you don't mind that. I first heard this when I was a, a small boy in the Polish section of Cork. And it goes something like this. In a small Polish village, in the dead of winter, under a thick, silent mantle of snow, the stars twinkling out overhead one by one. And these two Jews were stranded on a desert island. So uh, Jaime says to Shlaimi, he says, uh, he says, I've got a confession to make. I slept with your wife. <laughs> Shlaimi looks him right in the eye and says, my wife? Why, I thought she was your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mazeroski, thank you, for yours was truly a pleasure. <laughs> and with that interview, I can see that our time, like an elevator falling to a stop, has blown. So, on with the show. Until next time, this is Edward, this is Alistair Kukowski saying, remember, only you can prevent Polish people from catching on fire. Thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs>